Good day everyone. Now I will discuss the Myra Extremely Bean Conservation Model. First, we will discuss the biography of Myra Extremely Bean. Myra Extremely Bean was born in Chicago in 1920. She earned a diploma in nursing from the County School in Nursing. She completed her Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the University of Chicago in 1940. Her Master's of Science in Nursing was given to her from Wayne State University in Detroit in 1962. She earned an honorary doctorate from Loyola University in 1920. In 1951, Levine also became a clinical instructor at Bryan Memorial Hospital in Lincoln, Nebraska and administrative supervisor at the University of Chicago. From 1963 to 1967, Levine worked as a chairperson of clinical nursing at her alma mater, the Cook County School of Nursing. As a charismatic speaker, Levine was a regular presenter of programs, classes, courses, and counsel and a prolific writer concerning nursing and education. Levine also worked as a consultant to different hospitals and schools of nursing. Meta Paradigm in Nursing there are four concepts of conservation model of Mara and Srinibi. First is person, next is environment, third is health, and the last one is nursing. Living integrated theories and concepts from the humanities and the sciences of nursing, physiology, psychology, and sociology in the development of her model. First concept is nursing. Nursing involves engaging in human interaction. The goal of nursing is to promote adaptation and maintain coolness or health, realizing that every individual requires a unique separate cluster of activities. Next is person. Person is a holistic being who constantly strives to preserve coolness, integrity, and one who is sentient, thinking, future-oriented, and past aware. The wholeness or integrity of the individual demands that the individual life has meaning only in the context of social life. The person is also described as a unique individual in unity and integrity, feeling, believing, thinking, and whole, whole system of system. Next is help. It, help is implied to mean unity and integrity that is the wholeness and successful adaptation. The goal of nursing is to promote help. According to Levine, the avenue of return to the daily activities compromised by ill health, it is not only the insult or the injury that is repaired, but the person himself or herself. It is not merely the healing of an afflicted part, it is rather than a return to selfhood, where the encroachment of the disability can be set aside entirely, and the individual is free to pursue once more his or her her own interests without constraint. And the last one is environment. The environment completes the wholeness of the individual. The individual has both internal and external environment. Internal environment. It combines the physiological and pathophysiological aspect of the individual and is constantly challenged by the external environment. It is also the integration of bodily passion that resembles homeostasis rather than homeostasis and is subject to challenges of the external environment. Homeostasis It is a state of energy sparing that also provides the necessary baselines for a multitude of synchronized physiological and psychological factors. Well, the homeostasis it is a stabilized flow rather than a static, static wave. Next is external environment. External environment is divided into three. First is the perceptual environment. Next is operational environment. And the last one is conceptual environment. In perceptual environment, this is where individual responds to with their sense of organs and includes light, sound, touch, temperature, chemical change that is smell or taste, and position, sense, and balance. In operational environment, 
It interacts with living tissue even though the individual does not possess sensory organs. And the last one is conceptual environment. It is consists of language, ideas, symbols, and concepts and inventions. The ability to think and experience emotion, religious beliefs, and etc. Now let's talk about the conservation model. The Vin conservation model is focused on promoting adaptation and man maintaining fullness using the principle of conservation. The model guides the nurse to focus on the influences and responses at the organismic level. Adaptation it is referred to as the process of change in conservation is the out outcome of the adaptation. It is the process whereby the clients maintain integrity within the realities of the environment. It is achieved through the frugal, economic, contained, and controlled use of environmental sources of the individual in his or her best friend interests. The specific adaptive responses make conservation possible occur on many levels, like molecular, physiologic, emotional, psychologic, and social. These responses are based on three factors, which are historicity, specificity, and redundancy. Historicity is refers to the notion that adaptive responses are partially based on personal and genetic fast and the specificity refers to the fact that each system that makes up a human being has a stimulus response pathways and the last one is redundancy it describes the notion that if one system or pathway is unable to ensure adaptation then another pathway may be able to take over and complete the job wholeness in wholeness, Levine stated the unceasing interaction of the individual organism with its environment does represent an open and fluid system. At a condition of health, fullness exists when the interaction or constant adaptation to the environment permit is the assurance of integrity in all dimensions of life. Well, in conservation, it is describes the way complex systems are able to continue to function even when severely challenged. Through conservation, individuals are able to confront obstacles, adapt accordingly, and maintain their uniqueness. The goal of conservation is health and is trying to confront this ability. In conservation model, there are four principles. First is the conservation of energy. Next is the conservation of structural integrity. Third one is the conservation of personal integrity. And the last one is the conservation of social integrity. In conservation of energy, it refers to the balancing energy input and output to avoid excessive fatigue. It includes adequate rest, nutrition, and exercise. In conservation of structural integrity, it refers to maintaining or restoring the structure of body, preventing physical breakdown, and promoting healing such as in assisting clients in performing range of potions or ROM exercises and practicing proper personal hygiene. Next is the conservation of personal integrity. It recognizes the individual as one who strives for recognition, respect, self-awareness, self-hood, and self-determination. Examples of this would include recognizing and protecting clients' space needs. The last one is the conservation of social integrity. An individual is recognized as someone who resides within a family, a community, a religious group, an ethnic group, a political system, and a nation. This is exemplified when nurses help individuals preserve their place in a family, community, and society. Now let's talk about the assumptions and assertions about Levine's conservation model. The nurse creates an environment where healing can occur. A human being is more than the sum of its part. Human being responds in a predictable manner and are self-determined even when emotional. Human beings are aware and give appraisal to objects, conditions, and situations. Human beings sense reflect, reason, and understand. Human being makes decisions through prioritizing course of action.
adapted changes in both the individual as a whole. Every person possesses a unique adaptive ability based on one's life experience, which creates a unique message. Change is inevitable in life. Nursing is associated with condition of regulation of exercise or development of capabilities in providing care. Now let's talk about the strengths of the conservation model. First is it values the holistic approach to all individual well or sick. Values patient participation in nursing care, comprehensive content in depth, scientific principles are emphasized, provides direction of nursing research, education, administration, and practice. Logically congruent, it shows high regard to adjunctive, adjunctive disciplines to develop theoretical basis for nursing. But, well, the weakness of this model is that limited attention can be focused on health promotion and illness prevention. Nurse has the responsibility for determining the patient's ability to participate in the care. And if the perception of nurse and patient ability to participate in care don't match, this mismatch will be an area of conflict. The major limitation is the focus on individual in an illness state and on the dependency of the patient to nurse. This is one factor that limits the patient to participate in his care. He will depend much on the nurse for the attainment of the goal. Application of Conservation Model by Myra Estrin Lupin By applying the Lupin's Conservation Model, nurses can implement patient care plans either supported or with therapeutic to help patients achieve integrity. This is in accordance with the principle of handling emergency patients by providing measures that could, save, that could solve patient problems. That's all and thank you for listening once again. Larry Lindsay Miriam from this and once.